Hi, everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw William Mason from West of Dead. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay. All right. So William, William Mason, right? Uh, okay, so I, I picked this because I've been playing it. And I love this game, and, and it's 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 my style. It's what I really like. Beautiful, beautiful games. Now, if you know anything about this game, you might be wondering, well, what's so beautiful about it? It's half black. You know, it's it's in the dark, but it's it's very much reminiscent of Mike Mignola, and I love Mike Mignola. His his artwork. I've always been a fan of of Hellboy and. Anything he does, really, uh, but just Hellboy, really. That's that's really what it's about for me. I've, I've, I don't want to say I've grown up on it, but I've grown up with Hellboy as long as it's been Hellboy. I've been reading it since the very first issue. So I love his style and love the the unique take that he has with a lot of black inks all over the place, and it's just a, a really dark look, uh, complemented by um, oh I can't remember his name right now, but his colorist. Uh, anyway, they've worked well together forever, so I, I, I just love the design. I love, I love what they do. So uh, this, this has always stood out to me, and so it's, it's uh, this game is just, just beautiful in that, that look. You know, I mean, I love, you know, Breath of the Wild and uh, Sayonara Wild Hearts, all those really cool games. If it's got a, if it's got a good visual, I love it. I'll play it. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I'll, I'll play the occasional Fortnite and, and you know, uh, X-Men, stuff like that, you know, just fighting punch em up games, you know, Pokemon, stuff like that. Sure, why not? But it's it's all about the visuals for me. I'm a, I'm a visual, I'm, obviously, I'm an artist, right? And it's, uh, it's, it's what I like to do. I like to see things, you know? So that's why, that's why I thought I'd grab this character. You know, he's very fun, very Western. Uh, cool the uh, skeleton man you know <laughs> but uh, a lot of this we're gonna be making up like uh, you know I'm gonna be you know you know give him his poncho here obviously but some of these details don't exist so you know because it's such in the dark that uh, I kind of have to make some of it up and that's okay that's fine you know it's that's artistic license that's what we're gonna do but also that's what I do with how I draw you know this is my style by making it a little more realistic and maybe maybe giving it a, just a little bit more details than it normally has. So, so I'm okay with that. So it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a little bit extra, you know? Okay. So, uh, so I'm going to give him a holster. I'm just give him some big old cowboy legs or I guess skeleton legs, right? I mean, the skeleton man. Uh, so skeleton, Skeleton legs, so I'm giving him a little thinner body, you know, kind of like as if he's some kind of ghostly character, you know, and, uh, you know, a little bit less than perfect human details, but the same kind of, of uh, anatomy. I was going to say physiology, but I don't think that's a real word. <laughs> but I've said it many times, I am not a speaker, I am a drawer. So that's okay if I don't know how to speak. I'm good with that. Okay. And some of these details are going to be pretty easy because they're just simple, you know, regular clothes, you know, nothing crazy. So it's, it's, it's going to be what we do, but, uh, you know, a little, a little easy. But again, it's, it's about the stylistic look and that's, that's the amazing thing about this game. It's, you know, it's not hard. It's not, uh, uh, complex. It's just simple and beautiful. That's, that's the thing. And it might be a little, a little intense, a little too much, you know. Um, I can't remember the rating right now, but uh, you know, check with with parents when necessary, because it, it's you know violence and whatnot. Make sure they're they're okay with what you're doing. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm gonna use a ruler for his gun here. I think I'm just gonna just gonna eyeball it. 
you know, if you want to get a ruler to draw the barrel and draw it straight, go for it. You get what you want. But uh, I think I'm just going to eyeball it because I'm just going to be eyeballing the way it looks anyway, like an old, old west gun. Right, and so, uh, yeah, so I, I, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do more video game stuff, more of the ones I'm playing, obviously. But you know, everybody's picked Fortnite, and and uh, someone else recently requested uh, uh, Call of Duty characters and whatnot. So yeah, I think I'm gonna expand a little bit more on on video game characters, just to give us something else, because you never know who wants what. I get a lot of requests, and we're gonna we're gonna hit everything eventually. You know, it's gonna take a while. But, uh, you know, we gotta, we got to branch out, try different stuff. And that's another thing I talk about, too, is this may not be for you. This may not be what you like, but branch out. Try it. What's this, 30 minutes of your life? Just 30 minutes of practice of doing something different? Why not, you know? If nothing else, you just get the practice in to draw something you normally don't draw. That's the best part. Practice. Practice, practice, practice. Okay. Good, looking good, and I think I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna. What's funny is I want to do like a more realistic skull, but they're, they've got a pretty realistic skull. You know, it's 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 pretty good for what it is. I don't I don't need to try to try. You don't need to try to reinvent the wheel. That's that's how that saying goes. You know, it, if it's working, don't can't fix what's not broke. So even though I'm gonna try to give it a little bit of my style, this this is pretty good. They've got a pretty good artistic. Uh, styled skull that I want to keep it. I want to stick to what they got. So, as much as I think I'm going to try to make it my own, it's going to be theirs. You know, I'm going to do something like what they have. So, this is looking pretty good. I think. Let's see. A little bit more detail here, but I think. I think that's going to. going to take care of it. Yeah. 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 So. I say, I say we get ready for the, the Sharpie and, uh, and, and, and get rid of some of these sketch lines. Now, if you're working with pencil, you just start drawing darker. You don't have to erase, but me, uh, let me hold on. Now that I lean back, uh, I, I saw something's off with the foot. I want to, I drew him a certain, in a certain pose and I'm trying to capture it. I'm trying to get that look. And I think that's it right there. That's what it needed. It's a better angle on the foot. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Now we're ready to go. So now let's get rid of some of these sketch lines, and uh, we're gonna keep the confidence line. So as you as you start to sketch, you, uh, you you're not confident yet. Then as you as you're confident with where it's gonna go, you start pressing harder. Those lines take a lot more to erase. The sketch lines are erased really fast, where the confidence lines take a little bit more. So they yeah, stick around a little bit longer. So we're gonna follow our confidence, not the sketchiness. That's how you live your life, right? Always follow your confidence. But sometimes, sometimes those you're confident about those sketch lines. <laughs> so don't always listen to me. <laughs> okay, I say we we welcome all the skippers. Get ready and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. It can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing. I've, I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to guide us on the Sharpie adventure. So I'm going to start off with the Sharpie pen to draw some of these fine little details in this uh, little skulls that we're going to draw here and then we'll join in with the big sharpie uh, uh what is it the, the fine point the big one so i'm going to start off with the eyeballs just draw them around like this and what i what i can't forget are his he's got a little spike going not a spike but a, a, like a cut line through the eyeball so i want to make sure i define that edge so i don't accidentally draw through it and i can leave it open open for color you know all right looks good so let's just give him a little nose so it's almost like like making a, a jack-o'-lantern, you know? You're gonna carve out the, the hole and then leave some space for the light to shine through, you know? So for his teeth, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of, I'm not really gonna draw them. I'm just gonna draw shapes like around them because whenever we, we color in the skull black, which I'm gonna do with color, whenever we color that in, it's gonna stand out a little bit more as to like a, like a, a glowing mouth 
and the teeth are kind of white and it's just a really cool artistic look that they that they created and I, I kind of want to stick with it you know as much as I always say I'm gonna do it like mine I'm gonna do it how I draw I, I, this is how I draw what they draw <laughs> That's the best way to look at it. So, uh, so yeah. So as much as I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep this like this, uh, like mine, it's gonna be kind of based on theirs, you know. So I'm gonna add just a, a little bit of my look, a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of a little, uh, something inside, like a little bit of boop, like this. Maybe a little bit of like that. But again, I'm gonna color it all in black, so that's gonna stand out later. And now I'm just gonna kind of follow uh, a skull shape, you know, uh, or a. a video game skull shape and ooh, I want to I want to thicken it up because usually what I say is I, I thicken it up to to match the fine point marker that's about to happen but but this is a uh, well, I mean that's that's a huge sharpie and this is a more of a like a, a burning skull on fire type kind of thing so I want it subtle I don't want it as a hard edge and and sharpie fine points they're awesome, but they they are a hard edge. I usually say that they scream at you. They're not. They don't whisper. They uh, they are very very loud, saying, "Here I am. Look at me. Look at me. Look at this line I just left." So I, I kind of like it like this to make that uh, that little you know subtle look that it's got. So um, yeah. So I don't think I'm gonna outline it and and keep it simple like this and. And, uh, and you know what? Same thing with the fire. I think I think I want to do it light and 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 keep it uh, subtle, you know. So I'm going to draw like the the flamish looking thing around his head uh, with this sharpie fine point. I'm sorry, the sharpie pen. The sharpie pen. It's confusing because it's, it is a fine pointed pen, but the other one is called the fine point. So I'm going to follow the little skull flamey shape like this. Do some some little artistic uh, pixel flames coming off like this just to kind of honor what they're doing like that and I think that's good that looks really good for the the uh, the, for the flamey style you know make it a little pixelated flame all right awesome so okay so let's switch over to the sharpie pen ah fine point fine point <laughs> and uh, start off with this poncho okay so that's that's gonna be over his shoulder a little bit so it's gonna come down across and his arm, it's over his arm. His, this arm is gonna be raising it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of lift it up a little. And his other shoulder, connect right there, but I'm gonna keep that just simple and add some, some, some fine detail with uh, the Sharpie pen. Alrighty. Awesome. Okay. Uh, that detail right there, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna do that with color, you know? He's got a really cool detail right there, but I'm just gonna do that with color and keep this to uh, uh, wrinkles and creases and folds in his in his poncho. Alright. Okay. Looking good. Okay, so now let's see, I'm gonna throw his hand right here, just lifting up the uh, the poncho. So this arm is gonna be out holding his gun right this is going to be his glove let's go ahead and draw his elbow so you can see where it's going up to his arm right here and uh, this is what I was talking about how there's there's not a lot of detail in it's a lot of black stuff so we're going to add or shadow we're going to add just wrinkles and folds where that shadow would be but we're going to actually add the the, the wrinkles you know I don't think I'm going to color it all solid black like theirs is. I'm going to give it a dark look, but I'm not going to make it with the hard black edge like they have. Because again, remember, I'm going to draw the hand like this, holding the gun, but this is how I draw. So we'll see how we color it in the end. So I'm going to draw a thumb over like this, fingers, well, the, the back of the gun, then the fingers are going to be wrapped around. So I'm going to draw his middle finger. like this and a ring finger and then the pinky all right so let me define a few of those knuckles so you kind of see how it's wrapped over just little dots or little lines sorry to show you the joints 
Okay, then I'm gonna finish off the gun, draw the barrel coming out like this. Then we can draw the rest of it kind of tilted up like this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna draw like the you know the old the old West looking gun because he's got a very uh, stylistic looking gun. But we're gonna draw just the the regular old style, old old handle. So you're gonna do uh, the, what do you call it the the revolver? Oof! I couldn't even think of the word. Again, not good with words. I'm gonna draw it in here like this, and like I said, if you wanna if you wanna get a ruler for this part, go for it. I'm just gonna do this by hand. I'm just gonna go straight back like this, so I know where it is. Bring it back around to show the bottom, and we'll add some detail in a second. But this is just gonna be the defining edges, start stop points. Then just kind of draw the rest of the barrel. Like I said, if you wanna do it with a ruler to get it straight, go for it. It's, it's not the most important part of this drawing for me, so I'm not too worried about it. I think it just, it gets a point across. I'm good with that. All right, so let me add a little bit of detail with the Sharpie pen. I got it right that time. I got it right, the Sharpie pen. Alrighty. And define a little bit of the glove. Just to make sure I have it all There you go. So I defined a little bit of the glove just to make sure I have it all, all uh, detailed enough to make me happy. And we can say that's good. All right, awesome. So I guess we can do the other hand. Let's go ahead and just stick it coming out of the poncho. We're gonna draw the glove. Cause that's all you can see is a hand like this with the thumb just kind of foreshortened just a little bit. So see, it's gonna kind of disappear. So I'm gonna draw it down foreshortened enough that you can see it. But uh, you know, it's still still in its position and I have it sketched out so that's why I'm just kind of tracing around the sketch that I did and that's the nice thing about planning it out is you can just trace around your drawing like this and then uh, add some detail just to just to kind of define it if nothing else a lot of this stuff is just to show you the the shape the outline I'm doing then we're gonna come back and you add little little lines for detail and uh, and, and definition, basically. All right, so it is a glove, so we're just gonna give it some just basic, basic glove lines. Even though I draw these same basic lines in hands. <laughs> it's still uh, just uh, the, the look of a glove, so you can make it like digits and, and, and excess, you know, just for fun. All right, so let's draw his hand going into the uh, or, or, sorry, the, the arm underneath the poncho. That's defined now, so I'm just gonna wrinkle up that material, because that's all it is, just cloth, you know? All right, so now, let's let's draw his, his uh, chest down to his belt. And this is also what I was talking about, that a lot of it's made up, because there's only so much we can really draw. Go ahead and draw a couple of a couple of, of uh, buttons. Button for his, his nice, nice, pretty shirt. And then draw his belt. And he's got two belts, so we're just gonna kind of play around with the look. And this is also one of the things I was talking about that it's it's uh, it's video game style, so it's a little a little simplistic, but artistically creative. And that's what's amazing about this is they 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 took their 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 talents and they added them to make it work in render time fantastically because that's that's another trick about making video games is you can't add all this specific detail a lot of it is just color a lot of it is painted on because the heavier your your figure is obviously with more detail and whatnot like the objects that he's carrying are on him the heavier and slower your render time so the trick is to try to make it all paint in color and make it look like it's an object Whereas opposed to it's just color, it's crazy. It's crazy. When I say color, I'm talking about uh, that. You just got to get into it. Get into video game creation. You'll see what I'm talking about. How they they make it look. Uh, they give it depth by adding uh, blacks and whites on top of color. It's crazy. It's super crazy. So anyway, uh, he's got two belts. 
And that's what I'm talking about. Little things like this is just so simple to do to, to give it life, but it's it's a lot of it's a lot of pixels. It's a lot of uh, render time. So it's nice to see them do something like this that looks basic, but it's still visually appealing. You know, that's that's what it's all about. All right, so one one belt for his pants, one belt for his bullets. And uh, yeah, 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 there we go, there we go. So now all we pretty much have to do is is give him legs, give him all skeleton legs. So, uh, oh, you know what? Let me draw a holster for his gun. Uh, he's got to put it someplace, right? I'm just gonna hang that over here and it's just gonna be a hollow spot because that's, that's where it stays. And now we're just gonna draw his legs out, just big old skeleton legs, you know, just sticking out like this down to his boot bring it back up here and just give him some some creases and folds in his pants and I'll define more of this later I'm just kind of defining a few hard edges then coming back with with softer edges to show the bends okay and I'll show you what I did there it's all planned it's all planned it's planned but it's not also too it's like it's like okay put some lines here and then figure out how to fix what you just did you know so there, I, I like I like adding a lot of creases and folds around the bends of the joints, like knees and, and your waist, your hips, stuff like that, because that's obviously where you're putting the most stress on your material, cloth, pants, shirts, that kind of thing. And it, it makes it come alive, it makes it look like it's real, like there's actually use right there, you know? So it's it's fun to, to add a little extra stuff like that because that's that's uh, what, what makes your drawing come to life, you know, you, you make it look real. Color helps too, <laughs> not gonna lie, but you know, it's just about uh, giving it life in, in any way you can with your your pen, your pencil, your uh, your stylus if you're doing it digitally. Are you work is anybody working digitally? Is anybody following along like that or is it all Sharpies and pens? Man, that would be amazing. Alright, so we're gonna add like just a, uh, oh, let me add his is uh, poncho before I forget. Poncho the back hanging down. Normally I would. I would forget the back of stuff. So, all right. So we're gonna draw regular old boots. Just stick long, long skeleton man boots coming down. And nothing, nothing too crazy because that's that's another thing. Is oh, you know what I forgot? Let me add this little um, what do you call it? Like a belt. There's some kind of belt he's got on his leg. Again, stylistically, artistically, it's awesome, so I just want to make sure I don't forget stuff. Uh, you know what happens, but you know, all you can do is just fix it and do stuff like this, and it works. It looks awesome. So we added it on, so there you go. Cool. So, let's just add his boots, just regular old boots coming down like we always do. Old skeleton man boots. Down to his foot, and I'm just gonna say he bends down right here. And then I'm going to add some detail to, to, to define why I did it like that. And a lot of times, it's just because, you know, I, I like to add the ankles with lines like this just to show the stress, like I was talking about. Creases and folds show that there's use in, in those joints, you know, and it just it just helps uh, with the, the, the shapes, why, why you did it like that, right? All right, so one more leg. Let's do this one over here. There we go. To the other side, draw a little ankle on the back of the foot, top of the foot, down to the toe. Give him his little cowboy heel. Connect it here. Let me add some detail to, to clean this up and, and again, to define a few things. All right, so we're gonna add the ankle here, little bends where that would be. I like to add just a little stuff like this just to help it define the curves, shapes, and like I said, use, wear and tear. All right, so a little bit extra right here. And there you go. So I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is William Mason from West of Dead. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with How I Draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.